morning students today's topic is correlation and regression it was a part of uh, ug statistics uh, theoretical sciences and it was taken by myself daniel assistant professor department of mathematics cpa college so the name correlation itself tells us that there is some relation between the variables some variables x y z or something usually we call this as x and y so x is some other variable representing some data and y is some other variable representing the other data so if there exists some relation between both and x and y then we we can say that the data are correlated for example if we consider the student performance in practical as well as in the theoretical class if the student is outperforming in the theoretical class he can perform better in the practical class because he listen the most of the concept very well and he can he can apply the concepts in the practical session and he can perform out perform in the practical session so the performance in the practical session is dependent on maybe maybe dependent on the theoretical class he or listen to the theoretical class so the marks per performed in the the practical class is dependent on the marks performed in the theoretical class so likewise we can also compare the performance of a student in the english class or some other language class to the science class if consider if a student is outperforming in the language class but he is not performing in the science or mathematical class so there is no relation between the language and the science classes so we, there is no relation between the variable x and variable y but if we consider the previous example the practical class and the theory class there is a relation between x and y so the data are collected in such a way in the real life situations we can correlate the data of uh, variables x and y in the various situation and we find the relation between the both of them and the second one is regression once we find that the data are related and it is dependent or independent we once we find the dependency of the data we can form how dependency it was so x is how much dependent on y or y is how much dependent on x that is called the regression so in the in depth so topics covered in this sessions are the relations between x and y so what is the strength of the relation so usually the strength of the relation is denoted by uh, covariance that is r or call persons coefficient r so then how can we describe the relations with the use of predict so once we find that there is a relation between x and y how you can predict using the regression lines we can predict the uh, dependency of uh, variables x and y so the relation between x and y correlation is there a relation between two variables yes if yes means the regression how well the certain the independent variables predict the dependent variable so if f x is dependent on y the regression line x on y will depend uh, describes how x is dependent on y so correlation doesn't equal causations so in order to infer the causals manipulation independent variables and observe the effect of dependent variables so if you consider this scattered diagrams so consider the first scattered diagram so all the points in the scattered diagrams are closely to the uh, positive quadrant that is the line if we draw the line means the line is pointed towards the positive quadrant of the graph that is we can we call this as positive correlation if we consider the second example all the points are uh, coherent to the towards the negative quadrant if you draw a line parallel to it and it will cross the negative axis of the graph so that way we call as it is a negative correlation similarly if we consider the third example the points are scattered all around the graph we cannot draw a single line to connect all the points if we consider the first two examples we can draw a line which is which is which is uh, closely related to each other we can draw the line but if we consider the third example we cannot draw any line of it so we can say that no correlation for that so so various and coercion first we note that a sample if we have wish to assume that the sample is represented of a general population that is a random sample of models of a population the overall population the the area wise population means use the degree of freedom as n minus 1 in your calculation so of your calculation of variance so but if we consider the fixed sample model means we can use the exact degree of freedom for that model 
so variance and covariance uh, is given by so a square is equal to summation x i minus x bar the whole square divided by n minus 1 for the generalized populations and the covariance of x y is given by x my x i minus x bar into y i minus y bar divided by n minus 1 for the overall generalized population if the population is fixed it means it will denote it by capital n the capital n denotes the number of observations we made from the example that's what the covariance the formula when x is rising and y is rising means then the, we can say that it is a positive correlation correlation if you say that x is decreasing and y is increasing or the other case x is increasing y is decreasing whichever is opposite to each other means then the, we can say that the correlation is negative so similarly when there is no correlation the coefficient of correlation will be x or y will be zero so this is the outline of the covariance students thank you